Hey everyone, so we had an issue that we ran into with the GTX 1060 hybrid build after part two. This is a quick update showing how I think we're gonna resolve it. This coverage is brought to you by MSI and their new GTX 1060 Gaming X, which has the aforementioned Twin Frozer 6 cooler. So I filed down the edges of this basically socket on the base plate, and that was done because this protrusion on the copper cold plate of the EVGA cooler would not fit in there. But then shortly after that, I had another problem. We did have to remove the thermal paste again because of what's about to happen here. Uh, this was not making full contact, so we actually only got partial coverage. And you can tell actually by looking at the thermal paste. So obviously we can't see down in there very well. And because we can't see in there very well, the uh, there's no good way to see if there's contact being made other than to pull the thing off and look at the die and see what the thermal paste coverage is. And it was not a lot, it was only on the very edges. So when I turned this thing on, I noticed there's a problem because idle temperatures were pretty high and we just shut it down immediately, pulled it apart and found out that it wasn't, wasn't making full contact. And that's just because the GPU die doesn't have enough height to come up so that it's uh, over whatever threshold this, this cold blade is meeting halfway between um, the socket and the protrusion. So there's some space in there. So I bought a bunch of these. These are shims. They're actually labeled on, I think I bought them on Amazon. They're labeled as shims for GPUs and CPUs, and there's a lot of them out there. So the goal here, basically, the thermal paste will go on either side, and then this shim will sit right there, and then we'll seal it down. Really with this stuff, it, the manual does recommend using half the tube for each application. We've only got half the tube left. The lights are blinding me. So I'm gonna use most of it here. Uh, we can be a bit generous. It'll spread out. We should be good to go. That's actually, it's actually a little bit under what the manual calls for, but I'll do that for now. Let me see if I can actually like siphon some of this into the tube. That would be pretty sweet. Did that actually work? Oh man, that is awesome. Okay, so I think until we get the, the tool to really do a circle pattern, we can just fill this thing up, which is pretty sweet. Let's try this out. I'm only gonna put a little bit extra on here, unless it just spits a ton of it out all at once. Come on. Oh, it's working. Nice. Okay, well that's a lot of thermal paste, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So either put it on here first, or on the, uh, Cold plate, I think we're gonna put it on there. It seems like it's got a pretty good hold. In a perfect world, you have perfectly flat surfaces of copper. In such an environment, it would actually be worse to use thermal paste. Basically, there's microscopic imperfections in the surface, and those are filled with thermal paste, which will eliminate air pockets. Yep, that's it, okay. So there we have it. This thing's actually on there now. I can see plain and clear that the protrusion looks to be making contact with the shim, the copper shim. So now there's one of these in there between the cold plate. We've got some thermal paste on it. Also discovered I was able to siphon thermal paste into this tube, which makes me tremendously happy. So that's, my, that's my favorite discovery out of this project now. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'll put the rest of this on. We're not gonna show it because we already did that in episode two. If you missed episode two and one, check those out for the teardown in episode one or part one that will show you the internals of the card. Part two shows the process that looks like it goes exceedingly smoothly until it doesn't. And this, which is not really part three, but more of DLC add-on, uh, shows the, the issue we encountered between parts two and three. So check back, subscribe if you want to see part three where we'll have actual thermal results with testing and data and stuff like that. It may be an extra few days, but it'll be out in the next few days for sure by Monday. So thank you for watching. Patreon link in the post video if you want to help us out directly. Uh, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.